Welcome back. You know, throughout this entire show, we've been talking about Valentine's Day. So it was Candy from Sweet Pete, Donna Reynolds was talking about how to set that table. Now it's all about having that romantic date. Yep, and lifestyle and travel expert, author of 100 Things to Do in Jacksonville Before You Die, Amy West is with us right now to talk about dates for every budget. Hi, Amy. Hey, yes, I'm so excited. You know, I've been talking a lot on social media too about um, living with intention when it comes to your relationships. So it's super fun to cover some exciting local dates. Okay, well then let's, you know, you say for every budget, and I know one of them on here isn't for every budget, yeah. but if you have the opportunity to splurge, this is a good one. Yes, the Ritz-Carlton Amelia Island. I chose this as a great splurge. They've actually just undergone a multi-million dollar renovation. They have great new food offerings, and you can actually hit more than one spot in my book because I covered not only the spa, but also Salt, which is a AAA five diamond rated restaurant. So go have a wonderful staycation. It's a great opportunity to travel in our backyard. It feels like you're getting away, but you're actually just a hop, skip and a jump away from home. Absolutely, it's just, it's so easy because obviously it's right here. Yeah. What about value? Let's have an idea that has just more value yeah. to it. Yeah, so for a, a little bit more of a value, something a little bit lower budget, I actually love the idea of a romantic date at Mini Bar Dome. Donuts. And one of the reasons I love Mini Bar and I included them in my book is that they actually incorporate other businesses in the community into what they do. So you're getting bold bean coffee and they actually just introduced these new collages. I believe that's how they're pronounced. It's a savory option. So you have the wonderful, sweet, fresh donuts that they create, which I love all the different flavors. They're so unique, but they actually have a savory option now. So you can go, it has cheese and egg and sausage and jalapenos. So you get a little spice to it if you want or without the jalapenos. If spice isn't your thing, but it's a fun opportunity to get out and enjoy something a little bit uh, higher value in terms of your budget. And then also you can get coffee or if you went for brunch, you could get um, a mimosa or a beer. So it's, it's kind of fun for any time of day. Now, I know we will eventually be getting to free, but let's kind of do a middle middle ground first. Yes, so another option that I had on there is going to Caddyshack. So some of you are familiar with Caddyshack. It's a fabulous animal, animal preserve, and it's not just big cats. They actually have horses there. They have all sorts of animals, lions, tigers, bears, oh my. Um, so a wonderful way to experience Caddyshack is actually to go at night. They hold night feedings, which is when the animals are most active. Um, it's kind of romantic. It's to kind of get you out of your comfort zone, maybe something different than just dinner and drinks. But you can go and for $45, you get a free drink, you do a self-guided tour and you get a t-shirt and you get to see and support this really great animal preserve. I'll tell you, if you've never been, that is a date you will never forget. Now the next one, this is perfect because it's creative and it's a really good experience. And for the art lover, well, you really can't go wrong with this. Yes, definitely. Um, if we're going to the free side, so I have two really fun art ideas for you, but on the free side, a great way to experience Jacksonville is to explore our murals. We have over a hundred and counting and you can either pick a destination in town, say the beaches or Springfield, and you can tour around there and find all the murals. Or if you're up for an adventure, just Google Jacksonville murals and it'll pop up a bunch of images and you can kind of Google locate where they're at and hop around town and find the ones that you find most creative that you want to take pictures with. It's a fun way to kind of integrate social media. You can get some great pictures. If you're into modeling, you can see how good your uh, um, Instagram uh, other half is and do some modeling and it's just a fun way and it's absolutely free so why wouldn't you want to do it it's super fun yeah, love absolutely. that and then there is that art class yes so let's talk about that so the Atlantic Beach Arts Market is another destination that I included in my book and in terms of art markets I, I push the Riverside Arts Market a ton but the Atlantic Beach Arts Market is really creative as well it's 5,000 square foot 90 artists you can go and either shop for a great local find or you can create your own piece of art they have great classes that range you can do woodworking you can do mixed media art you can do ink and alcohol I just love the range true artists teaching you their craft it's a great way to get involved in the art community community local locally and then have something to take home as well amy these are great ideas if people want to learn more about you how can they do that you can go to my website amywesttravel.com you can also purchase my book 100 things to do in jacksonville before you die it's on the website or you can find it at a local bookstore near you well thank you so much we appreciate it we're now we're going to send it to rance thanks mark